YouTube what's really good, it's Mayte and today I want to talk about something that maybe not as sexy or as glamorous as some of the other things that are sort of physique related like people getting shredded and lean for competitions and winning and all that good stuff. Today I want to talk about what happens when this show is over. So I don't know if you guys can see, but right now um, I'm actually really bloated. I feel bloated. I look bloated. And compared to how I was looking only four days ago, um, you know, I mean, I'm gonna try and show a picture of me posing somewhere up here. And yeah, so that was last weekend. And as some of you might know, I competed at the UK BFF Scottish Grand Prix, obviously in Scotland, Glasgow, and I won really well. Right, I took first place, so super, super happy with that. But now. To be honest, for the past four days, I've been finding diet really, really difficult to handle. So uh, I've agreed with my coach that we're going to have just a week off just to kind of like set things back uh, and just take a bit of a breather, which is good. And I kind of, uh, yeah, I kind of took that maybe to the extreme a little bit and I've kind of literally just let myself go and just been having cakes and biscuits and any sort of sugar or carbohydrates I can get my hands on and that's been really really difficult to manage and that's kind of like where the massive weight gain has come from so a lot of water retention, glycogen, that kind of stuff so really what I'm trying to get at is you know, for those of you who are thinking of competing or who are looking at people that compete and you see their pictures look amazing and everything is kind of like looking solid even when I'm flexing, you know, I'm not, don't get me wrong I'm, I'm still very lean uh, and a lot of it is water but I just want to highlight that you're not always going to look super shredded and even the guys that you might follow on Instagram and YouTube and that stuff, they're not going to be super shredded all year long and that's something that you have to, you have to remember um, and even you know, as soon as the show is over, how these people are feeling, it can be quite detrimental, you know, people develop sort of eating disorders and you know, bulimia and you know, issues with body image and that's something that you really want to make sure that you've got, you've got grips with um, and if, you, if you're not sure how to handle that just make sure that you've got a really good support network, a really good coach that knows what to do and how to help you through that phase so that you can get back to normal eating so that you don't, you don't develop any sort of you know, really poor uh, sort of relationships with food and that kind of stuff. So that's kind of what I'm going through now and I just wanted to share that with you. Obviously I've got, I've got my coach helping me out and because I've been doing this for almost three years now I kind of know what I need to do. So, I, so what I do personally, I just try to get back into good habits, uh, things like just drinking enough water. So the past four days, I haven't been drinking enough. Like literally it's been maybe like half a litre or something. And I just know if I drink more water, it would help me eat less food, right? So it's just, just little things like that that I'm used to doing that are part of my habits that I've kind of just gone out the window because ugh, I just needed to breathe, I just needed to relax for a second and just forget about dieting and forget about training and maybe psychologically that's a really good thing. So uh, training as well, same thing, I haven't trained for the past four days, it does feel a little bit weird but I think I'm just going to get back to training tomorrow and just like take it slow and get back to training so I can get ready for another competition in September. So water, training and what I do personally, I just try to go through things day, day by day and not feel like oh my gosh you know i ate so much food and that's it all my gains have gone down the drain and it's over and you know what? i might as well forget about training and forget about a good diet um i kind of just manage things and situations as they come so so yeah anyway that's that's all i wanted to share with you today um just to show kind of like the flip side of the you know the glamour of fitness and competing so I hope you guys, you know, some of you can relate to that and if you can, just leave a comment below. And as always, you know, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Peace.